What is going on, everyone? Welcome back to the Full 90. Today, it is time for week 12 of the Premier League predictions. The international break is over. San Marino have been dispatched once more, as always. And today, like I said, we're back for the Premier League predictions in week 12. Massive shout out to all of you for the support on this channel. We're getting really, really close to 18,500 subscribers. So if you are new around here, I know the majority of people watching these videos just watch them on their recommended feed and don't actually subscribe. So please do me the favor of dropping a like and subscribing down below below i haven't had time to pick out a comment to shout out for this episode i'm actually quite ill so i'm trying to just get this recording done so you guys have the video to watch and then after i record this i'm gonna go lie down so we will delay it no further i've got some really exciting tips for you this week a lot of value in these as well because obviously i do just want to preface this video and all my videos really by saying that i could go for much safer tips you know tips with a value of 1.5 1.4 that will most likely come in but i try not to do that you know i could easily get better value tips that are more more likely to come true for these games but that's no fun you know we're trying to have fun with this so please do just gamble responsibly if you do that but let's get it kicked off with Leicester up against Chelsea and I think Chelsea are going to win this one away from home Leicester have been, been looking a little bit shaky they obviously lost to Arsenal they drew with Leeds which is not a great result really and Chelsea they're just coming off the back of a draw a shock draw with Burnley they didn't take their chances and unlike the way they probably slightly even subconsciously underestimated Burnley they will not be doing that with Leicester at the King power stadium so i'm gonna go for a 2-1 win to chelsea and my tip is chelsea to win at 1.72 i really like those odds i'm not going to complicate things i'm going to go with the chelsea win there after that we have aston villa up against brighton villa are in poor form but over the international break have brought in stevie g and brighton despite the great football they've been playing this season supposedly and the, the really good start they had it does have to be said they've been struggling to win games they haven't won in a long time and i think villa are going to get something from this game at villa park i'm going to go for a 1-1 draw if there is ever a scoreline that's easy to predict it's 1-1 first and 2-0 second and i do see this being that 1-1 draw and i'm going to go for my tip as draw brighton haven't won in ages aston villa haven't won in ages and i'm going to continue that trend for both of these teams here now after that we head to turf more for burnley up against chris Crystal Palace. Crystal Palace just got an amazing result up against Wolves. I know Wolves have been very hard to predict lately and they've been quite up and down playing really well sometimes, playing really poorly, but uh, Crystal Palace absolutely outclassed Wolves. I'm going to go for a low scoring game. I'm going to go for a Crystal Palace win 1-0. I don't think Palace have beaten Burnley in their recent meetings, but out of the previous 11 meetings between Burnley and Palace, there have been zero draws. So, because uh, this could be a draw. If Burnley play well, I could see it being a draw. They, they could even win. They definitely could. But I'm going to go for the 1-0 Winter Palace. My tip is Crystal Palace draw no bet at 1.8 so that favors the favorite team out of the two and if they do draw for the first time in what would be 12 fixtures you'd get your money back so i think that's a pretty good uh, pretty good shout for crystal palace there after that we have newcastle up against brentford i think this is going to be an interesting game i think both teams will see it as an opportunity to get something from the other team both will be looking for a win and i think they will cancel each other out and i'm going to go for the 1-1 one, one draw and my tip here is going to be both teams to score at 1.7 newcastle and brentford have both really been struggling to keep clean sheets and i can see them both clashing and both conceding in this fixture here now after this we have norwich up against southampton and do i see norwich getting anything out of this game I don't. I don't. They just came off of a, a massive win against Brentford, but it really came at a poor time for them right before the international break. So any sort of momentum they could have gathered from that run is kind of gone. Similarly, I suppose you could say Southampton have finally been stringing some good results together. They beat Aston Villa in the previous game with 1-0 with a very, very early goal. I do still think, though, that Southampton are going to get the win. I'm going to go for a 2-1 win to Southampton. I think both teams to score could be a good shout. Norwich will have a little bit more confidence now. But my tip is going to be Southampton to win at 1.9. I thought that value was very, very good for a Norwich team that if you bet against them throughout every game of the season, you're going to win money. So, you know, overall. So I'm going to go for Southampton to beat Norwich. Two goals to one at some very generous odds. Now, after that, we have Watford up against Manchester United. Who on earth are you going to get turn up when you have Watford? You just never know. And I do think Man United are going to be good enough to beat this Watford side. They're sticking by Ole Gunnar Solskjaer despite a poor performance. Their, their performance against Liverpool was terrible. They lost 5-0. Their performance against Manchester Manchester City was worse. It was truly worse. It was awful. Just Man City just 
couldn't score more than a couple of goals. 2-0 no at half-time. Job done, really. It was job done from the minute it kicked off. And Man City beat Man United like I predicted. So this one, I'm going to go for a Manchester United win. I'll keep it fairly low scoring. But in case it is massive, in case there is another big booster result that makes fans sing ollies at the wheel again, my tip is going to be Manchester United to win minus one handicap at 2.3. And I'm going to go for a 2-0 score prediction. So United have to win by two or more goals at 2.3 odds. I think that is really really good and speaking of really good 2.3 odds we have wolverhampton wanderers up against west ham west ham high flying just come off of a 3-2 win against liverpool as i actually put in my thumbnail for the last video which i thought was a, a brilliant shout there uh but west ham against wolves i think west ham are going to win they're in third place wolves just played awfully against crystal palace i'm gonna go for a 2-1 win to west ham and like i said value here west ham to win at 2.3 massive odds for the team in third place in the premier league and now we have the big one liverpool up against arsenal fourth up against fifth i really 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 hope arsenal get something out of this game and it's probably the best chance they've had at getting something at anfield in the premier league for a very long time however i don't think they're going to have enough I think Arsenal, their fantastic run comes to an end here. They have the longest unbeaten run currently in the Premier League. Obviously because it was Liverpool, but Liverpool lost to West Ham. Arsenal now have the longest unbeaten run, but I think it ends here. Whilst Arsenal have looked really good defensively, I cannot look past Liverpool scoring at least a couple of goals at Anfield. They lost to West Ham and scored twice. I think they'll score twice here again. And I think Arsenal, in the form they're in, their confidence will be high. It could, it really could be a 1-1 draw, but I'm trying to... I might even be too anti-biased. I'm trying to take my Arsenal bias and excitement out of this fixture. Liverpool are a better team than Arsenal. You know, you have to realise that. I do think Arsenal will score. Liverpool haven't looked as solid at the back. Obviously, like I said, they conceded three against West Ham. So I do think Arsenal can score. I could see it being a draw, and I really hope it is at least a draw being an Arsenal fan. But I'm going to go for a 2-1 win to Liverpool. And my tip is going to be Liverpool half-time, Liverpool full-time. I think Liverpool always come out the blocks absolutely firing. And I could see this being 1-0 half-time, 2-1 full-time to Liverpool. I really, really could. So that is going to be my prediction. I'm not going to bet on that game. I'm just going to watch it and hopefully enjoy it. And I pray the Gunners get something but if you are not at all involved with Liverpool or Arsenal, my tip, my tip for you would be for Liverpool to win in some kind of way. Now, after that, we have Manchester City up against Everton. And I think Man City are going to run away with this game. I think they are considerably better than Everton. And I'm not entirely sure on how Everton's injuries have been looking, but it's, it's not been looking good, basically. And I don't see a scenario in which all of their injured players come back and just get into the team and it all goes really well for them. Not at the Etihad. I'm going to give them a goal. I think Manchester City are... They're sub, they, they're, they do tend to concede a goal here and there, and I think Everton are a team that can do that. So I'm going to go for a 4-1 win to Manchester City, and my tip is Man City to win and both teams to score at three. I think the odds are fantastic. Obviously, the only, the only way I don't see this coming in is if Manchester City win 2 or 3-0, which is possible. So again, error on the side of caution. Final fixture, it's Tottenham up against Leeds. Antonio Conte against Marcelo Bielsa. Who is going to win this fixture? I think it's Tottenham. Harry Kane has used this international break to stat pad a little bit against the likes of Albania and San Marino and scored plenty of goals. And he actually looks threatening in front of goal now. He just needed that little training exercise of the international break. And I can actually see him scoring the winner here. And Leeds haven't looked good this season. Tottenham games are typically quite low scoring. I can see this being another 1-0 to Tottenham. So that's my prediction, 1-0. And I'm going very, very safe on this tip. Tottenham double chance and under 3.5 goals. It could be 1-2 or 3-0 to Tottenham. It could be 2-1 to Tottenham. It could be 2-0 to Tottenham. I think I already said that. It could be 0-0. It could be 1-1. One, one. I don't see a result that doesn't fall under that category at 1.75. I think Tottenham are going to win this one. Obviously, a result that would is if Tottenham win like 5-3 and Leeds go mental. But Leeds have been a little bit less. You know, the games have been a little bit lower scoring this year than you might expect. And Tottenham especially, they play quite boring football considering the players that they have at their disposal so i'm gonna go for a low scoring tottenham win there so that is going to do it for the week 12 premier league predictions like i said I, i'm quite ill today hence the rosy cheeks and i just chugged a load of medicine to be able to 
lube up my throat to be able to record this video in the way that I like to record it. So that is why it's probably a little bit shorter. It might feel a bit rushed, but I didn't want to bring you nothing because I'm loving uploading the full 90 videos. I love the support and comments on them as well. So please do leave your predictions down in the comments below. Leave a like on the video. The next video I think will be a Champions League prediction video coming out on the 22nd of November. So stay tuned. It's currently the 16th, so I'm recording it a little bit ahead of time, but that's going to do it from me. And I will see you in that next video very soon.